Hey guys, it's your boy Arj, and my oh my, did I not expect to be here talking about spoilers for new episodes a day after episode 122 dropped. I haven't even had a chance yet to respond to all the comments from my last video, but don't let that stop you from letting me know what you think of these spoilers I'm about to show you. But before we begin, if you're new, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to get yourself into our Xbox One X giveaway with one of three copies of Dragon Ball Fighters, for free and in one click. Get in on that now. But moving on to episode 123 and 124 spoilers. Now first thing to point out is that we already have quite a bit of information already on these two, but there are some key additions. So starting off episode 123. Goku begins battling Jiren once again. Although Goku uses every trick up his sleeve, Jiren brushes it all aside. Goku fires off Kienzen, cluster-like bombs off in all directions, but this is also of little effect. And then Vegeta unleashes all his ki and starts glowing blue. Now obviously this has changed a bit because initially spoilers said Vegeta would be seriously injured and that Goku would be going full power Super Saiyan Blue, but it doesn't seem to be like that. Goku seems to be normal blue and this scene they are talking about where he's using cluster bombs and tricks is definitely this scene where he's running like Naruto and the cluster bomb scene must be this blue tinted one where these bright orbs surround Jiren. Not sure on the animation quality here, these look more like those flares I use in my thumbnails than cluster bombs, but anyhow. It then talks about Vegeta unleashing all his ki and starts glowing blue. Now this is obviously what we saw in the end of the preview, with Vegeta in the middle of ascending Super Saiyan Blue. Some of you guys are already calling it Super Saiyan Dark Blue, Super Saiyan Royal Blue, but this is more than likely the Super Saiyan Mastered Blue, featured in the manga with Toyotaro. Which may not be spectacular in appearance, but I'm just glad to see Vegeta of this new form which by all accounts surpasses Goku right now since he has not yet reactivated Ultra Instinct. Next we get episode 124 which also has some new info. While Goku and Vegeta battle Jiren, Frieza proposes something new to his opponent, Dispo. If Universe 11 wins, please use the Dragon Balls to resurrect me. Promise me that and I'll have no problem cooperating with Universe 11. Now for real, we have seen this trick from Frieza a number of times before and it's going to be the same story here again. Frieza is not really betraying Universe 7 and is simply tricking Dispo, or attempting to. For one, why would they use the Super Dragon Balls to wish back one person? That could be done with normal Dragon Balls. For two, why would a Justice Pride Trooper wish back someone as evil as Frieza? This is a non-story, but it's interesting to see that Frieza would actually stoop this slow to defeat Dispo. I would have thought it would be a lot easier for him, but it doesn't appear to be like that at all. Next we will move on to episode 125, which I have already spoken about in detail in a previous video. So at the end of this video, I'll save you the hassle of finding it and just add it on at the end for you. But episode 126 is where it's at. Surpass even a god. Vegeta's life risking blow. Now what is going on here? We have yet another Vegeta focused episode which is insane for our fans like us. But it seems his power goes even further beyond. He will surpass that of a god of destruction and thus that of Goku too by doing something that is life risking. Now life risking to who? It could either mean he has landed a blow that has almost killed another fighter or that he has done a move that was almost a self-sacrifice, similar to what he did to Boo. But until we get more clues on that, we will just have to wait and see. All I know is that Vegeta has even more power up his sleeve to show us and surprisingly it will be so much that even the gods will learn to fear it. But yeah that was it for today's leaked spoilers guys. Let me know down below for sure what you think Frieza is up to and what Vegeta will be doing that is so life risking. But as always, if you haven't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to get yourself into our Xbox One X giveaway with a copy of Dragon Ball Fighters with one click and for free. Now as promised, stick around as I will now show you my earlier video based solely on episode 125 spoilers and topo. Enjoy. 
Right, so today's video is going to concern the episode 125 title spoilers, which we know already reads, Advent of the God of Destruction, Topo. There is only overwhelming power, January 28th. Now I went over this last time when the spoilers first dropped, but let me just get, bring up the definition of Advent again. Advent, the arrival of a notable person or thing. Used in a sentence, the advent of television, i.e. the arrival of television. And in the same way, the advent of the God of Destruction Topo is the arrival of the God of Destruction Topo. Yes, this is the big twist I am seeing that will happen in episode 125. The trump card Topo has that will make him a true force to be reckoned with. He will reveal himself to already possess some degree of God of Destruction power. And as we know very well, Topo even before Jiren was known as the next God of Destruction candidate and we all thought he would be the main powerhouse of Universe 11. At least before we saw what he looks like, basically Dr. Robotnik's doppelganger from the Sonic series. But regardless, the title of being the next God of Destruction and candidate is not something that is just indicative of power. As if it was, we would easily start referring to Goku or Vegeta as candidates also, but no one does that. Part of being the next god of destruction must in itself involve being trained specifically by the angels or the previous god of destruction. If we look back on Goku and Vegeta's training, they only trained with Whis, while Beerus just watched on or slept. Being a God of Destruction candidate, Topo has accepted his fate at succeeding Belmont, and with that, he may very well be under specific tutelage under Belmont, and with that may come training with handling of God of Destruction power. The passing on of God of Destruction power is nothing new to the series after all. We have seen this when a simple grunt was given a ball of God of Destruction power to use as a trump card against Freezer. Now Frieza in his great power was able to show that he could master it and control it, while Goku could not. And if Frieza could do it, 100% Toppo under the tutelage of Belmod would have almost perfect control over it. For almost absolute certainty, given episode 125's title, we will see Toppo reveal his God of Destruction powers, given to him by Belmod to be used only as a last resort. We already know in episode 124 he will come close to being eliminated as Android 17 will try to sacrifice himself, paralysing Toppo while Gohan is ordered to blow them away. And as we know, Gohan fails, but that would not go unmissed by Toppo, who will be pushed to the edge knowing that he cannot afford to hide anything against these deadly Universe 7 warriors and will finally unleash his God of Destruction powers. More than likely we will see the elimination of Android 17 at a minimum before it is left to Gohan and possibly Freezer to step up and take out Toppo. As I said previously already, Freezer has shown capability in overwhelming and handling God of Destruction power, so he would be an ideal matchup. But let's see if this is just another one of my theories which comes true. I'm excited for future episodes and hope you guys are too. But let me know down for real what you think about my idea. Is Topper going to be hiding God of Destruction techniques? Or is this episode title misleading? Let me know your thoughts and ideas down below and as always, I will be replying to each and every comment. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as hard as you can to get yourself into our Dragon Ball Fighters giveaway. 3 copies up for grabs or a $60 Amazon voucher if you prefer for hitting that one button. What are you waiting for? Until next video guys, cheers.